Hello everybody! Welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. My name is Buddy Blackford and I'm going to teach you how to use the reduce noise filter. And the reduce noise filter just does exactly what it says, reduces noise in an image. And what noise is, is pretty much just random pixels of color that um, come in when you are compressing an image or when you are using something like a scanner or a sometimes one of some of the crappier digital cameras that um, it'll add in this extra um, extra pixels on top that reduce the quality of the image now we're gonna show you how to reduce that kind of stuff now for example I think the part in this image that has a lot of noise in it is this ceiling up here now if I zoom in into the image you can see that there is a pretty decent amount of noise in this uh, uh, section here. You can see a bunch of colors that are weird and some blockiness and stuff like that. We're going to get that out of there. So the first thing you want to do so we can do comparisons and stuff like that, create um, uh, a new layer just by duplicating your current layer. And we're going to go to filter, we're going to go to the noise section, we're going to go to reduce noise. Now. Um, mine showed up with these uh, default settings here, but if you want to, you can just bring them all back to zero. Maybe bring the strength up to one so you can mess with the preserved details. I'll bring that to zero also. So let's uh, just start by coming down into the these, these sliders area. The strength is the amount you want the reduced noise filter to... Um, to be applied to the image. It um, affects the luminance values, which is um, the also which is also called luminosity. And if you uh, you may need to look that up if you really need to, but um, it's kind of like the brightness a little bit. So the next one we've got here, let's what's um add bring this up here. And the key to using the redu reduced noise is to balance it in a way that it reduces the noise but without adding a whole ton of other kind of like junk into your uh, image. And I'll show you that. Preserve details brings out the small details in um, the inside the like small parts of the image. So like maybe like this little wisp that's coming off my hat there or some of the stuff in the background or other small things in the image. So if you if we bring that up a little bit, it'll preserve some of the details while taking out some of the noise. So somewhere around 60, 50 to 60 percent is good for this image. If I brought it up all the way, it would preserve all the little details, but it would keep it keeps the noise in there. So if you look at the image here at 100 percent, and then if I bring it back down to like 50 percent, you can see that there's a difference. Reduce color noises. It reduces like random. Uh, color pixels that it can find within the image. If you reduce it a whole lot, it's going to start saturating the image even more. And it doesn't do it as much on this p image, but um, the strength is also down kind of uh, in the middle and everything like that. If you go too hard with this, it'll start saturating your image out. So it goes somewhere around 40 to 60 as well. Remember to keep a good balance. Now, when you start reducing noise, it reduces some of the image uh, quality a bit. That's where the sharpened details comes in very handy. It'll bring out the extra details within your image. So let's bring that up and to it uh, something that we that looks somewhat decent. If I bring it up all the way, you can see what it does to the image, and it's a little too well. It's way too hard. So let's back off. Let's bring this up to, I don't know, something like this. Now, um, I want to go over this Advanced tab with you really quick. If you go to Advanced, you're able to um, go per the different channels in your image. So if I go over here to the Channels tab, we've got a red, green, and blue channel here, and you're able to adjust these um, on each one. Now, each of these is a... Uh, no, um, has a different like noise level and I think that usually blue is the noisiest so if I go into per channel you can click and drag to move around 
but you can see and, um, the different channels and adjust them the way that you uh, the way that you need to to get what you are looking for. <laughs> so you got green here, and then you got blue. But if you really need to adjust those per channel, go ahead and do it that way. Now the remove JPEG artifact there. If you check this, it'll get rid of uh, some of the artifacting, like the blocks and some of the stuff that comes around, like crisp edges and stuff like that, when you are saving a low quality resolution JPEG. So I'm going to uncheck that. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to come back to my layers panel, and then I'll just zoom out a little bit. Uh, come in a little bit more for for you so we can see a little better and just we'll just check out to see how much noise has actually been reduced So I can turn this is with the noise reduction off So there is no noise reduction right now check out the ceiling check out how noisy it is when I turn this on It's a lot smoother and has been uh, reduced some of the noise and you can see that throughout the image and It basically is like smoothing everything out bringing out the noise and it's know, pretty uh, useful for trying to make your images a little nicer. Now the reduced noise filter may not always get all the noise out that you really want. See there's like a little image there. You might want to use some tools like the patch tool here to um, fix up some of your image. Let's see how good it does. I don't even think I'm on the patch tool. The patch tool. Got. A, I was wondering why I was painting in, but there we go. Use the patch tool to like patch up the image and fix little uh, spots like that. So that's not very looking very good, but just keep that in mind that you can use the different tools to help further clean up problem areas in your image. The spot healing brush, the patch tool. If you really want to use the clone stamp tool. Um, and other tools like that. So um, that's that's yeah, that's it for how to use the reduce noise filter. Um, use it to sharpen up your images, reduce noise, obviously, and um, it works on individual. And I just wanted to let you know it works on individual layers and not the entire document. So you have to apply this to um, each layer that you want to get the noise out of. So just keep that in mind. So thanks for watching this tutorial. I'm glad you guys took the time to check it out and uh, watch the video. And I'll see you guys in the next video where we're going to keep on going over different uh, filters and see how cool all of them are. So see you guys later. Have a good one.